a double shift uh, for Frank Lamley, obviously getting paid a little bit extra this afternoon. Frank, a very good afternoon to you again. Yeah, still get paid overtime here on Saturday afternoon, so we'll see what we come up with. Obviously, CH playing now, yeah, so that'll be good to watch. They had a, went down this morning, both these teams went down this morning, so this is a playoff to see who can make the plate final. And um, CH were pretty happy with that game. It's just unfortunate, they just ran out of puff and lost a bit of control there, and then went down 20 to 4. Yeah, it was unlucky for Anthony Hafey as well, picking up an injury. Let's run through the two sides, first of all, for the Central Highlands side. We have got, in uh, according to uh, the program, Zay Hewitt is uh, the fullback on the wing, Andrew McGregor, Sebastian Stigler, Ray Epsworth, and Chris Conway are in the centres, Jared Owens and Andrew Dorr up in the halves. Jotier, Moapi, and Marcy are up front. We've got Clayton Kilpatrick in a dummy half. Davin Turner, Reese Giles, the back row alongside Tom Murray. On the bench, Carrot Page, Anthony Hapey, Will Moore, Nataba, Rara Kolawa, Baden Equalese and Nathan Parsons. For the North Wide Bayside, we have got the fullback in Craig Beck, Jacob Klassen and Mitchum Dawes are on the wing. We've got Bo Elphinstone and Mitch Thorburn in the centres. Nathan Leather and Dan Alberts will be leading the side around in the halves. Phil Lindsay and Drew Jackson up front. Callum Evans in a dummy half. The second row, Chris Quinn, Sam Coonell and Luke Hedges will join them at lock forward. And on the bench, Lee E, Gordon Fanoa, Bailey Kimber, Cam McDonald, Bailey Linsket and Harley Gilliland. Round out the 19, they're coached by Dan Blair. Referee for this match is Toby McCall from Rockhampton and assisting him on the touchline, Adam Hudson, Tim Gray. CH on the attack at the moment, Conway's got the ball. They're running towards the northern end of the ground. And it'll be Kilpatrick now who worked the ball to Page. Page puts a kick downfield. And it'll be, oh, knock on him, goal, goal, drive over, score. And it looks like it'll be Sebastian Stigler, I think, who's claiming the try for the Central Highlands side. That's Tommy Murray, isn't it, with the orange boots? I think that's Tommy Murray out there. Yeah, it might have been the, it might have been the, yeah, I think the red the, wiggle. That's him, the little midget from Claremont. I wouldn't go that far, I think it was, yeah. The red wiggle scores, Tommy Murray, might I say. Looked very similar from the far side of the field. 4-0 anyway, and it's it was unfortunate. Stigler. You really have to get those glasses checked out. But it was a good play there uh, for a good kick from Carrot Page, putting it into the uh, corner there, Frank, and it was just an unfortunate knock on from North Wide Bay. Yeah, good use of the elements there. He's kicking into a fairly strong breeze in that south easterly coming through, so it just sat there in the breeze, and unfortunately, uh, North Wide Bay knocked on. Early try to Central Highlands. Exciting stuff. Certainly was exciting stuff. If you're a Central Highlands fan, and of course you can use the hashtag 47th Battalion, uh, also hashtag Khan the Crows. Great to have so many listeners across this great division and state of ours as part of this uh, brand new initiative. Obviously we can joke around to prepare a bit now because Ray Epsworth's lining up this kick and we've got a bit of time. Oh, for, well, for those who are not aware from Central Highlands, Ray Epsworth doesn't mind to take his time when kicking. But here we go. Epsworth lining up at four points to nil. See, hate your head. And Epsworth will have the kick waved away. Reed's got a hold of that, unfortunately, the way he went. So the score is at four points to nil. CH ahead of the North Wide Bay side. Lovely afternoon here at Bar Marie Sports Complex, Frank. Yeah, what do we come up with? Booger, Booger Fields? Is that what it is? Yeah. Good pace, he's wandering, wandering back through there, obviously. Fair call. Former president of the Yipoon Junior Seagulls. Righto, as the Wide Bay side will restart play, and it'll go into the hands of Hewitt, and Hewitt will offload then into the hands of Namasi. A strong run from the Marcy, and he's finally held in the tackle. Kilpatrick works to Owens, and then Owens into Rara Kolawa, who'll start on for the Central Highland side, and he'll be held. So as he plays it again, Kilpatrick left side, links in with Doyle. Doyle then good ball to Page, and Page held just short of the halfway line now. As he plays it, Kilpatrick to Owens. Owens looking for the inside ball, and he'll take it up himself. For the fourth now, as he plays at Kilpatrick, working the right side, links up with Owens. Owens, lovely ball to Conway, and he's nearly through. He skips it one, two, three. Still going, Conway, making metres. That's been touched there by the North Wide Bay side, gone backwards, but probably wasn't played out. The referee says it wasn't, and Wide Bay get probably the first touch of the footy this game so far in the game, Frank Lamley. Yeah, enterprising play there, coming down the right side by Central Highlands. And now the penalty comes, a bit slow in getting up. So great kick north wide bait will kick with the breeze here this will be a good touch finder well the Watch breeze your head it's coming at you i think cameron here we go straight at the camera oh 
took nearly took the bench out from that. There is a game going on in background. I'll just have a look. It's the Rockhampton women versus where's that Toowoomba? Uh, Sunshine Coast. Sunshine Coast Southwest is on field two, Frank. Oh, there you go. Look so at me. there we and are. So here we are, North Wide Bay on the attack. What about this? We saw him in action the first game. The front rower there in uh, in uh, sorry uh, the number eight, Phil Lindsay. I lost. I had lost me track there. Lost I was a bit of paper. I lost paper going everywhere. I missed. Me, I, I miss. I uh, swapped the two front rows around accidentally there. So he was uh, a bit of a machine. Didn't mind the old hit, Phil Lindsay. So as they work the ball now through uh, Cam McDonald who's got the footy, and he was also good for the wide bay side. It was a bit unfortunate. They went down in their first game to the Sunny Coast Falcons, who were just hot, 60 to nil. Here we go, kick in, picked up by Stigler, and Stigler will dance around back back play, about 10 out from his own line. Yeah, good good set there. They just got to roll the ball through. Good to get through their set. CH well defended. So here, here we, we go. Are. There's a break by Davin Turner. Half a break, he'll get up and play the ball. Kilpatrick into half. Here we are, so they work the ball up now, and this is into the hands of Marcy. And the Marcy is held short of 40. Kilpatrick linking up then with Rara Kolawar again, who I think is playing front row. They work it then to Ebsworth. Ebsworth's got a man outside of him. McGregor, he's away down the western touchline, but he's got men chasing him. And no one there. We had Conway on the inside chasing his support. Looking for this quick play of the ball. Gee, there's got to be a penalty nearly there from the referee. He says play on. Owens. Owens left side to Doyle. Doyle links up with Hewitt. It's gone backwards according to the referee. He then gets it to Murray. Murray's got numbers to Stigler. He's unmarked. And he'll run away and score for Central Highlands. Sebastian Stigler. It was all too easy. They've shifted the ball from the western side to the eastern side to extend the lead. Eight points to nil. Yeah, great expensive game there from CH. They went down this right side. McGregor got put away down the sideline and took the tackle. Smart move. Had no one really supporting there. The Conway was a bit slow getting there with him, but he was coming. He obviously put him through the hole, and then uh, they swung it all the way across the other side. Wide Bay hadn't recovered in time from the fast break. And try in the left-hand corner, which is actually good for our kickers. Obviously, Ray will appreciate that, kicking with the breeze. Uh, Wide Bay just got to work on their defence. They will getting showed for a bit of speed on the outside. Interesting to see Tom Murray in the centres, Frank. It's, uh, he's usually, when playing in uh, Central Holmes, a, a player who plays in the middle, a middle yeah. third of the field, as he's usually a lock, lock, lock of dummy he's half. He's a very good player. Obviously played for um, Australian... Uh, Under-20s, I think. The Australian University side. He's a school teacher out there in the Highlands, so... And a great job. And uh, I guess the North Wide Bayside, uh, they... I guess experience a, a challenge like us where distance is a I guess a, a real time issue where we've got three leagues here merged into one northern districts the central and the south Burnett teams all into one and for us the distance is exactly the same uh, of an issue when it comes to training but we had good numbers for central Holmes, Frank yeah it's but with obviously work commitments and things like that both both of these teams obviously struggle with the, the larger sides with the larger um, communities can get in there and probably train three or four times before they come into this world. Both these teams, they would have trained once, once or twice at best before they came here today. So it's good to see that they front it up. They still enjoy their football and enjoy the effects of it afterwards. So the wide base side will restart play again. The score is 8 0, 17 to go till the half time break. So the ball will go high and into the bread basket of Jared Owens and he'll link up with the Marcy and work his way forward for Central Highlands. At the moment, the ball out. spilled out strip, the back. Stripped there by the touch, he's called it. So some hands in the play there and the uh, Central Highlands side against the win, though, will try and work themselves out of halfway. Yeah. So it'll be Owens to kick the, for That's touch. A kick. That's a good kick. That is a good touch. And terrific hands from Reese Giles as well. Unfortunately, he doesn't, uh, doesn't get a prize for the catch. So, Ebsworth takes the tap, and this time another run from Namasi. New to uh, the Emerald Tigers squad, Namasi as well. So, he's been a welcome addition for them. Played very well last Sunday. Kilpatrick linking up again with Conway. Another man who's playing uh, outside position as such. Moving one more out from the middle. Yeah. Oh, oh he's lost that. Oh, no, it was unlucky. Big shout out there to the Bluff Rabbitohs people listening they're a big supporter base in the highlands 
Oh, there'll be plenty out there watching watching this today, so hello to them. The one thing uh, that North Wide Bay didn't do in their first game, Frank, uh, is capitalise on these opportunities. You know, they, I think, had uh, four or five penalties inside their own 20 and a couple of drop balls from the Falcons, and they just didn't capitalise at all and were kept scoreless due to that. So this game, they really, if they want to progress in the, in the competition, they've got to uh, com complete their sets, and then when these opportunities are handed on a silver platter, course you get a utilize them so anyway at the back of the scrum the boys will work it up and it's their center in elfenstone who's got the footy center field 35 out they'll work it dummy half scoot now beck's got it charging run from beck make some good meters and tackle just short of halfway they're going to go short side into the hands now the big fella i think it might be bailey kimber who plays over that side no the second row sorry in uh Chris Quinn it is, sorry, who was on the, the eastern side of the field. They'll work it back centre ground. This time it's in the hands of uh, Bailey Kimber, and he's tackled centre field. So back to the left side of the field they go through, Leather. Leather then, dancing around the play, and he'll finally be held in the line. They'll go to the left again. Beck, nice grubber, and Isaiah Hewitt there picked it up. And a good tackle around the ankles and in goal as well, Frank Lamley. Yeah, good good little set there from the um, wide base side. Just worked it upfield. Nice little kick in there with, with the breeze carrying it into the corner, but a very good chase down. CH will have to drop this out into the breeze. So they'll have to defend for another set, but that was a great set there by Wade. But that's what they need to do. Just just try and work through their game and see if they can get to the get a Central Highlands to make a mistake. Righto. So really, this is the, the first time the Central Holmes boys have been, uh, I guess, defending their own goal line. Deep kick from Doyle. That's a great kick into the breeze. That's gone 45 into the breeze. That's a great kick. Here we are. Bailey Linskid now will take the ball forward for the north wide base side from Mundabra. And a penalty given away. And a strip. a strip. But uh, mentioning about Mundubra, big news for them this year. They're the host of a Country Week game in Country Week, which is coming up on July 22 and 23, and more importantly, on Channel 9 as well. Oh, here Mundubra. we go. Good job. they got the televised game. Yep. So that's good. It's uh, great for Central Division. Here we are. Obviously Chris. have another televised Country Week game. Yeah, certainly in the country. So this time now, it's in the hands of Drew Jackson. Jackson held centre field. Dummy half there, scanning the line. They'll get it away to Leather. Leather then links up. And a good ball. Looking for the quick play of the ball. And gets it. Thorburn into the hands of Leather. Leather then into Kimba. And Kimba straight up the guts he goes. They've made some metres here. The north wide base side. And it's only tackle four. So they'll go to the right. Inside ball. Albert slings in with Beck. And he's over. Just short. No, no knock on. on. Over the line two. We're up in the 20. And reached out with that arm, and I think it, well, I'm just trying to see who that is that came in over the top. Isaiah Hewitt came through and just bumped his arm under the post there, the and he caused the knock on. So CH take the tap, and here goes Murray. Here we are, the red wiggle, working his way forward. 32 out. Kilpatrick appealing for the penalty. Links in, then Reese Giles first touch of the footy. Oh, still going great right. carry from Giles, the Blackwater captain for 2017. And another penalty, too slow according to the referee, which is Toby McCall. Here we go with the breeze. This will be a, that's a punishing kick. It will come in now. One thing, Frank, with the referees is uh, you would have heard Dom Draper doing a terrific job, but uh, they've certainly been managing the ruck area and really making sure that that ruck speed is as quick as possible. Yeah, that's, that's one right. the one thing they've really targeted on in in this whole carnival is making sure that play of the ball is as quick as it possibly can be. Yeah, it's been good. I think we need to go up a level from A grade. It is representative football, and they've done a very good job. It's been good, quick, clean game. Here we go again. Here we are, Conway. Conway. Off the, he loves that little short ball off the ruck. So here we tackled inside 10 now. Great opportunity for Central Highlands to capitalise again. They're ahead 8 0 on the scoreboard. That's Owens. Owens finding Giles. And Giles right in front of the posts. One out, Kilpatrick going himself. Doesn't mind a try or two. Oh, lovely ball. And Kerrod Page out of nowhere. Great, run, great line running there. Just on the inside, did a nice. Unders, as they used to call it. It was a great ball. Hit it straight on the chest, under the post. 12-0 the score. Central Highlands ahead, 11 to go first half. But what about that? They uh, got the relieving penalty on the halfway line and they just walked their way up Central Highlands. Kilpatrick there. Looked to go himself, then realised he got caught out, so then he worked the ball left side and all of a sudden, lovely hole. Jared Owens finding Kerrick I think it was Doyle on to... Uh, 
Page? Was it Doyle, was it? Yeah, he, Doyle. Is Doyle playing Doyle, left side? Or, he's playing the, in the orange boots, is the easy way to tell. The bright orange boots, the only one on the team. Both the... Uh, oh, hang on. Murray's got orange boots, but he's on the bench. <laughs> well, both Owens and uh, Doyle, same stature, and both yeah. playing in the same position, effectively, but on either side. Oh, anyway, right. this should be easy for Ray. It might be a long trip home for you with those two, <laughs> as they explain the difference. What, one's got six and one's got seven on their back? Righto, here we are, Ebsworth in front of the sticks to uh, make this a 14-0 lead for Central Holmes with 10 to go first half. And as it sails over, flags go up, and it is a 14-point ball game here at Barmory Sports Complex for the 2017 47th Battalion. Hashtag 47th Battalion. You can also use the hashtag Khan the Crows if you want to get in touch with us. We've had plenty of shout-outs through the afternoon, which is good to see. Are you going to give a shout-out to uh, Candice McKee out there? I'm sure she's listening. Oh, she definitely would be. Hey, Clermont Secretary, hard-working secretary up in Clermont, the Central Highlands. Plenty of people across the North Wide Bay, Frank, as well, who uh, are tuning in from South Burnett to Central Burnett. It's a big area for North Wide Bay, and I'm sure they've got plenty of supporters cheering the boys on. And like we said, that previous game, Ooh. though, what a good kick from Owens North Wide Bay. Oh, and it's gone dead. No, touching goal, sorry. Yep, it was touched out. Uh, it was touched by um, Owens there, and it just went off his fingertips. So, a bit disappointing. He didn't have much support behind him there to cover him up when it bounced over his head. He's obviously, like you said, Stay short in stature. Behind. Behind. It's just a bad bounce from Owens, and yeah, it's behind. gone, it's gone right over the top of him. So here we are, Doyle. Doyle going for the sideline sort of kick there. Here we go, and Bounce they'll around. pick it up. Alberts, Alberts links him with his oh. five-eight partner in leather. Brutal defence there, but young Will Moore coming in for the shot. Short side, Alberts, Alberts linking in then with Quinn. Quinn working the right side of the field for the uh, for the wide bay side. So as they work it back to centre field, then it's into the hands of Linskin. Linskin takes a carry. Again, the wide bay side, their uh, attack scattered at the moment. They got something set up though, as uh, it seems to have it, Leather was rushed there from the Lions and defenders coming up to try and shut the play down from Leather. They'll continue to work the left. It's into Halberts. Albert's looking for options. It's get, it looks like he's gonna have to run it himself. And a good one-on-one -on -one tackle there, Isaiah Hewitt making the tackle, 10 out. Let's see the options for the North Wide Bay side. And a penalty, that's not what you want for Central Highlands. Yeah, he had the hand in there, just slowing it down a little bit. He's been pinged for it, like you said, they've been very conscious of the speed of the rookie, the refs. Tell you what, the coaching staff for Central Highlands would be ripping their hair out, giving a fifth tackle penalty away. That is a coach killer. Oh, well. Time to move on. They'll have to work here and defence Central Highlands. So it's into the hands now of Kimber, Bailey Kimber. Tackled five short, looking for options. He's stumbling towards the line still. So they play it again. Oh, oh kill Patrick! We love to see that again. A bang, a whooshka! Right in front of the post. And oh. Penalty given away. Penalty. Here we are. Hello. One called out as well. Kill Patrick's been called out. I think he's called out as the captain. Let's have a quick listen. Yeah, he is called out as a captain, I think. And it's just to be told, boys, no more. Calm down. We don't need any more penalties. So they'll take the tap. Give it away to the big fella, Phil Lindsay. He's away and over. What about that? The front rowers club would love to see the big fella scoring oh, tries. The old set move. Oh, out, take a tap. You're frothing over this one, Frank. It's probably one of the honorary members of the front rowers club. And North Wide Bay draw their first try of the game. 14 points to four. Basically right under the sticks as well. So they should throw this over with seven minutes remaining first half to make it a 14-6 ball game. Yeah, it was a great just took a nice hit up there. Someone come through from Central Highlands. I didn't quite see who it was and tried to put a big shot on and absolutely missed it completely. And that allowed the big fella just to keep motoring on. I think it was uh, number Drew, no, Philip Lindsay. Is that him? Yep, he's certainly put as an attacker. There he is, yeah, he's put some he's put some attacking shots on about five metres from the try line. And this time, bang, boom, straight through. That was pretty easy. It was like he was like a Mack truck just coming straight in, using his strength and bang, bang, bang over. Yeah, like I said, someone missed him completely with the shot. He just rolled it, a little jink in the way he was. It's too big, too fast, too strong. So here we are, Luke Hedges, all the way from Wandai. Puts it over the black dot to make it a 14-6 ball game. Central Holmes ahead, six minutes remaining first half. 
That's great work. That's what we need to keep this game alive too. We need a wide bay to get back into it. Got to thank our uh, sponsors, of course, who've made this carnival possible. Frank NRG, a particular one. Uh, JRT, also Coltrane in the Livington Shire Council as well. Without the magnificent support of sponsors, we would not have this 47th Battalion Carnival. Right. And we also wouldn't have this live stream as well. So we've got to thank those sponsors. Here we are, the big try scorer again in Phil Lindsay. That's, he, that's worth another five minutes, five minutes he of energy. Wants to, he wants to have another crack at it, which is good yeah. to see. So back into the middle of the field. And they'll be uh, held short of their 30, 32. Quick play the ball. Sees it go to the left. Back inside from Leather. And Leather gives it away then into Isn't the hands. A big pack, this of North Wide Bay. Jackson's got the footy. Back to the short side. Again, nice run there. Sam Coonell making the metres and into Central Highlands territory. So momentum going North Wide Bay way at the moment as they work it to Beck. Beck will kick. It's gone up. 45 out. That is a absolute uh, disaster for Seb Sigler to try and have a crack. The, the kick was just no good at all. And he's let it bounce a few times and it's been a good pickup as he plays it. McGregor to Hewitt. Hewitt looking to try and run around him. He uses the speed. Here we go. Turns the afterburners on. And he's away, Hewitt. It's a foot race. He's past the 40 now. Looking to link up with, I think that's uh, Andrew Doyle there. He had on still his on, inside. Still on. Here we are. Quick play the ball as Will Moore sees it go. He's going, Will Moore, looking for the offload. They've got to get the ball right side. There, there it is. The, the defence there of the north wide bay side bunched up as Kilpatrick gets it to Parsons. We saw a nice falcon from Parsons in the first game. And it was a good carry there. They work their way forward now into Owens. Owens looking for space. Hits through the hole. Still going, Owens. Needs a man there to su with support. But he didn't get there. Fifth and last. Eight short Kilpatrick. Left side. Into the hands of Doyle. Doyle links up with Page. Can he get a second? No. Will Moore over and scores on his debut carnival for seniors. And what a magnificent try. Will Moore just slipped through the cracks to add the extra four points. And it's now 18 points to six. Kick to come. Yeah, that all came off that uh, great run by Isaiah Hewitt there. Plenty of speed down that far side. Just burn it. Put the afterburners on, like you said. Once again, had support coming on the inside. Took the tackle. And then CH, I thought they might have blown it then because it took a long time to get back this way. They worked it to the post and then swung it back to where the defence had evaporated from. And Will Moore ran through the great line, scored a try. So Ray Ebsworth, he'll have a fairly easy effort at kicking this. He's had a, about three cracks from out there already in this game with uh, three minutes 20 left in this half. Not sure the referee there, just having a quick chat to Isaiah Hewitt and Clayton Kilpatrick. Not sure why. But anyway, it was the game. There's something about not do it again. So... Well, you'll know. A few changes being made. Conway's coming off. Davin Turner's on. The Central Highlands also for Wide Bay. They've made a few changes as well. Unlimited to change today here out at uh, the 47 Battalion. Yeah, it's part of the carnival setup. They've got to have unlimited in change, really. Well, I guess for these two teams and uh, all four leagues that are involved in the two teams, uh, they, I'd say that the ball. In fact, all of them have an unlimited interchange system for Northern yeah. Districts, for both the Burnett comps and also in the Central Highlands comp as well as Ebsworth. Finally puts it over the black oh, dot. Okay. Tip of the month. Still as good as we won in Mackay. 20 points to six. Okay. Salute this afternoon. It's great money for the Hunters Club. So with two minutes and 22 minutes, uh, 22 seconds remaining. So two, 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 two for two, two, two. And it's 20 to six, eh? Yeah, the late great Richie Yeah, Benno. no, it's actually just 20 past three for those out there listening or watching. That's what I, we fell for that mistake with Draper, Dominic earlier. We forgot that we're not actually doing a radio call where it's talking, people can see what's going on. So we don't have to describe it play by play as no, such. That's a good kick, but. So it'll go downfield into the breadbasket of Azay Hewitt and he'll give it away to Marcy. Marcy will work his way forward. 20 short. Kilpatrick appealing Slow for the penalty. The They've been able to keep him down without a penalty. So Turner, fresh off the bench. And give away a penalty balls. as well. They're all oh. offside, according to the referee. So they slow play the ball, and they still were offside then, unfortunately. Now, this will be a long one. He's absolutely nailed a kick out of that. That's a 40-20 nearly on the penalty kick. Let's see where the old touchy pulls up. I think he's chipped him about four metres there just quite. I thought that was a 40-20 in the Penalty kick. Here we go. Here we are. Ebsworth taps it away to a steaming Rara Cole. Oh, wow. oh gee, it was a nice little hit there. to flatten him a little it's bit there. Him, the, yeah, the north wide bay side. Play the ball. Kilpatrick works it to the Marcy. 
and he'll take a hit up there. I thought he nearly slipped through the cracks as well. Here we are. Davin Turner's looking like he wants the ball. Here we are. He's going to line up, yeah, and he's lost, that he's lost it. And that's just unfortunate. And I hate to say it for the uh, the young fella there in Namasi, but his play of the balls have been. I think it's the, probably the third time this carnival so far that he has lost the ball in the play of the ball. So that's something to work on when he gets back to training next week. His ball security around that play of the ball. Yeah, that's unfortunate. It was a great kick there for Touch. The, uh, right on attack, Central Highlands. Really could probably put the nail on the coffin here just before half time. So we, as we go under the 30 second mark here as we feed this scrum left in this first half. So here we are at the back. And they'll give it away to uh, North Wide Bay. 24 seconds remaining, first half, and he's well, that's great. A good driving tackle. Dominant tackle. Ray Ebsworth making it. And the boys have got a few words to say about it, too. So, Scoo from Dummy Half trying to get out of uh, trouble. And it was Dawes there who made the scoop. Quick play the ball again, trying to get out of the, uh, I guess, red zone as well. And this will probably be all she wrote for the first half with only half a second remaining on the clock. There's the Hooter. And the referee has said they didn't play the ball before the siren. And we'll be going in through the sheds for a quick half time break. Frank Lemley, your thoughts on the first half? So obviously very hard for them. They had the first game first up this morning and then obviously have had to wait a long time, another five hours before they played again. So that usually, the soreness has still started to kick in by then. Yeah, certainly. There's a bit of rivalry uh, coming up because the next game coming up here on, oh, straight through the bed, bread basket, but finally picked up there by Gordon for now. But as I was saying, the next game coming up here on field one, Rockhampton versus Gladstone. It's the Battle of the Bruce coming up next and then after that Toowoomba versus Southwest so it's a battle of the uh, A3 the Warrego Warrego Highway so there's a few oh, highway a great run look at the big fella he's yeah. had a stellar game hasn't he Phil Lindsay Phil Lindsay scored the try so out the uh, off the oh good shot play the ball he's tackled this short oh no they were going for the quick play of the ball as well and unfortunately for Nathan Lever from Avondale on the uh, Northern Districts part of Bundaberg He's knocked the footy on, going for the quick one. Yeah, playing to the referee. They reckon there was a bit of muck around in the play of the ball, but fortunately, you've got to pick it up before you can run. Certainly. Hello. Lose to Shire Council, trying to get a bit of advertising in the background there with the slow-moving uh, rubbish truck. So Maybe They're just watching the football. Giles has got it now, and he works his way forward, and he is tackled. So Kilpatrick will link to Owens. Owens gives it away to Ebsworth. Ebsworth had a sniff there on the far side of the field. CH on the attack now as Kilpatrick wanting a penalty. Then we'll finally work it up the field with Owens. Kilpatrick gets it to Doyle. Doyle then looking for options around in the try scorer. Page, Page away. And he's had a good game this second game. Carrot Page a little bit quiet. The first one against Bundaberg, but he's really coming to his element now. Kilpatrick taking the line on. Links in with Hewitt. Hewitt and Giles. No one at home in the defensive line. Thank you very much. I'm off for a Sunday stroll, and I might as well stroll over the try line as well and get myself under the sticks. Settle down there, young fellow. It was a good try, but that's fairly easy there in the end for the Central Highlands. Nick Lloyd Bay just struggling there to keep up with the pace of the game. The big gap yawning on the other side. Like Sydney heads and rolled on through. Easy try there for young Giles. First game for Central Highland, so second, well, second game after this morning. I think he was a former Rockhampton representative, Reese Giles, before making the move to Blackwater. And crushes captain in 2017. So an easy kick now for Ebsworth. We'll still take as much time as usual. Oh, that's right. He, 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 I think we did put the clock on him one day out there in the Central Highlands, and he takes a good minute to kick it. So we've got plenty of time for talk. Fair bit of wind around, the nice little southwesterly sea breeze yeah. coming in. Lovely day here today, though. It's been a, a magnificent day of footy. Games on uh, both fields, and if you've had enough of the game on field one, you just turn around 180 and you can watch the other game. There's a good crowd coming in here today. Obviously, a lot, all these cars have got people piling down here. Obviously, you can't see it in the camera, but they're all underneath us and around us. And I'm sure we numbers. can get some vision at the uh, the break of the games. But uh, saying that too, it's a big year for Rockhampton Rugby League. It's their 100th season. So, a very big year. So, here we are. As we restart play after the try, Central Highlands ahead, 30, uh, 26 points to six, and it'll be picked up by Doyle. 
Winks in with Joe Tier. Here we are, Tier. Strong run from him. Only 20 years of age, Tier. Nearly lost it though. Kilpatrick short side to Murray. And Murray working it up. He gets the offload. Good second phase movement there as Tier's going to take the second hit up of this set of six. Oh! He's a tough cookie though, Tier. It didn't even phase him, did it? Uh, he got a good slap in the head there for his dramas, but here we go again. Here at Turner. Lindsay's putting some shots on. Dav Turner plays it. Kilpatrick very quick. Trying to run through and put some steps on. Looking for some men there, and he had men outside of him as well, but just wasn't able to get the offload. But he is able to be rewarded with a penalty. Yeah, hanging on a bit too long. He knew he had to hang on there, the young wide bone. Just wait for him to turn around and see, see who he is. Luke Hedges. He the lock to, forward. Yep, he had to hang on. Here we are. Owens looks to the bounces again. Still going. And he's still going. He's bounced off the third defender. Out the back to Hewitt. Hewitt looks to show and go. He's away. And no one at home. And he, uh, they are just putting a show on now. The Central Holland side under the sticks to make it 30 points to six. Kick to come. 20 to go in the game. Yeah, Wide Bay look like they're struggling. Fitness-wise, I think they're struggling here. They really start the pace of the game. It's just been too quick for some, from Central Highlands. And they've been found winding. That tap there, quick tap. And away they go. Central Highlands moved it fairly. Looked like they had it covered. One dummy. Isaiah Hewitt with a bit of speed. Hit the hole and away he went. Uh, He's got speed to burn, Isaiah Hewitt. He and look, it looks a, a lot like a very, very similar to Greg Inglis, Isaiah yeah, Hewitt. Yeah, we used to call him the Greg Inglis of the Central Highlands in his younger days. He obviously um, played centres for his club there for a while and has moved back into fullback, obviously. Very versatile player. Holland's are very lucky with him and Ray Epps. Oh, hello, there's been a jink there, Ray. That'll, he, he should really start again. He's lost his balance. He won't get this right in front. Don't think the North Wide Bay boys would complain. They're happy to have a good uh, breather. Mind you, though, they've been a, a late starter in the, in the halves, but come... The mid-way to the end part of the half, that's when they fire up. Well, they want to fire up soon. It's 32-6. They're a two-miler. They like the two miles. Two miles. Come on. Solid work. They like that time in November. <laughs> Melbourne Cup, that's how they are. Yeah, I talk about horses. I've got to throw out a shout-out to uh, Shawnee Daly from the president of Blackwater Junior Crushers. Great tip today, Sean. Got home well. Oh, that's good. We like a winner. Righto, North Wide Bay to restart play again. Too keen to walk in front, but they'll finally get it downfield. They just haven't had the football. Oh, great take. But a great take there from Doyle, who turns it to Murray, and Murray wrong strong, trying to bust through, looking for that quick play of the ball. He gets it too, as we see Doyle there. Goes short side, then a Stigler. And Stigler, he's worked his way onto the left side of the field, and he'll play it. Kilpatrick, Western touchline. They'll go to Doyle. Doyle turns it inside, then to Namasi. And uh, Namasi is held inside North Wide Bay Territory now. Doyle links into Page, and Page hitting the hole, trying to slip through again. Like you said, he's had a good good uh, game, second game, Kerrod Page, from the Dice Art Bull Club. Here we are, Owens. Owens to Hewitt. No, look, pass. Great hands from Ebsworth. Still going, Ebsworth, too. And he's trying to shrug away the defence, but he's unable to, and will be held short of the... Uh, 20 metre line, just after the 20 metre line actually, Owens puts a kick in goal, it's been juggled and it's all picked up by Davin Turner and Turner will turn around, give a wave to the crowd, very happy man as he scores a try. He's a very happy man because he doesn't score many tries, Davin Turner. It's a great work there, unfortunate bounce there, we've seen it as before in the early half, it seems to be fairly solid, there's nice good bounces coming up there, full back from uh, North White Bay. I think Craig Beck was unfortunate and couldn't grab it. There's plenty of CH boys chasing through and Davin Turner beat them all to it. Got his first meat pie. It was a sea of blue. That's it. Sea of blue and unlucky for the North Wide Bay side. 36-6 kick for Ebsworth to make it now. 38-6. 17 to go. Plenty of people on the live stream this afternoon watching this game between Central Highlands... North, North Wide Bay. Bay. Got to give another massive shout out to our sponsors for this year as well, including NRG, JRT, the Livingston Shire Council and Coltrane as well. Magnificent sponsors of the 47th Battalion Carnival, putting it all together and uh, of course helped us get together this live stream. And got to thank the digital team down at the QRL as well for uh, assisting with this and getting it going for uh, for us to, uh, I guess, 
get ourselves uh, broadcasting and beaming to right across the world. That's it. Very well done to everyone involved. We also got to thank a few of the people just around here, the European Junior Seagulls for hosting a canteen work. Now let's not forget the tireless little gnome down here in front of us, Stephen Hamilton with his referees. They've been they great carnival. They've, I don't think I've heard too many complaints. Well, remember they come here for free. They don't. They don't get paid to come here. It's all. Uh, it's all uh, part of the experience, and they get the further coaching and. It's really good to see the best of the best from Central Division making their way to Ooh. here. Oh, oh deep great kick. take by Chrissy Conway. I reckon he plays a bit of cricket in the off-season. Yeah. It's a great take. And Conway, he's back on the field now. I think he had a bit of a breather. And Fresh legs. He'll play it. Stigler now. Going to scoot down the short side, the western side of the field. And held short of 30. Kilpatrick then to Murray. Murray looking for options. Good ball to Turner. There's the try scorer. He's keen to run now. Kilpatrick looking on this blind side. Here we What's are. He they get the ball then to Rarakolawa now. Help! He's got the footy. And he'll play the ball. They'll work the short side again. Conway. Conway looks to bounce off one. Still going two. He gets the offload oh, the then to Turner. Turner to Namasi. Namasi throws the dummy. He gets it then to Owens. Owens, no look oh, pass. Oh. A hand. It was a mitt. It was the mitten. Reese Giles unfortunately put his hand on that. Yeah, the mitts of Reese Giles. Unfortunately, he was going for a gap, but the pass was definitely going over his head. We've got a man down 17 here, Cameron McDonald in back play for Northwide Bay. He looks like an ankle or a knee. We've got a little break here. So they're just going to check him out. I think it was a knee or a... Obviously, there's no time off in the until the last 10 minutes of each half. We've got about 14 and a half minutes to go in this game here. So, oh, this is what we're talking about. Look at that. That's really good to see. Mate. Good to see uh, assistant coach Brett Weatherly. Yep, out there. Out helping out. Hey, uh, a big, big inclusion, Sam Smith for Gladstone. He's been playing with the Central Queensland Capras and we hear the, the snail mail is that Sam Smith will be lining up for the Raiders in the next game up against the Rustlers. Ah, oh, of course. The old grudge match, they're getting people out of everywhere. Mind you, we were here for the recruitment pitch by Peter White, and it was a very, very intense one. But he got his man. Bulldog. He got his man. Yeah. Old Bullfrog would have been proud of him. He went to the bottom. He scraped to the bottom of the barrel with some of the stuff he's come in the negotiations. But he's finally got his man, and uh, it'll be good to see Sam Smith in action. I think he's had a, a few dramas with injury. So, anyway, wide bay on the attack. Ooh, it might have been a loose shoulder come out of... Uh, I think it was Nathan Parsons. He might have come through with the shoulder. Solid hit. Whether it was deemed a shoulder charge, well, the referee was fine with it. But it was certainly the third man in there. And as we have a quick look at the moment, the clock will still wind down at the score 38, 6, 13 and a half minutes remaining. Just look back over on this field behind us there, Cameron. It's yeah, 12-4. Sunshine Coast up against South West at the moment ahead. 14 minutes to go in the ladies' game. It's a, a game that's played a couple of times a year between South West and, uh, and the Sunshine Coast because, uh, well, in fact, a few of the players because it's a, the Sunshine Coast side, a mix of Caboolture and Beerwa, and the South West side is the Mustang side who play in the South East Queensland competition, and they've got ladies from all over the place, Toowoomba and... Uh, Miles and Chichilla and the, and the likes as well. So All it's, the way out that highway and down to the border. So that's the southwest side. Anyway, back to the game on field one. And the second rower, Quinn, has got the footy now. Tackled short of halfway. Then they work it into the hands. And it was a bad pass from Lever. And Leather. A lot of heads down here from North Wide Bay. He's held. Fifth and last now. They've kept them inside their own half. It's got to be a deep clearance kick. And that's not the kick you want at all. Wilmore takes it, and he's away more. He's that's trying to bounce confident. one. He took the old twist and spin. Murray's outside of him. No one out here, Tommy Murray. He's looking for someone to help him, but still on this short side. Oh, look well, at the gap up in the middle there. Now they've worked they're out. They're right, they're going down home. Here. No, they need hands. Here we are. So Stigler will take the scoot. We can see Chris Conway barking orders out the back there as well. So Kilpatrick will link up with Namasi. Now Marcy hits and spins, offload to Parson. Parsons puts the step on. He then gets the ball to Owens. Owens linking to Ebsworth. No one at home on that side. And Andrew McGregor will speed away. He's got to actually do some work for the try as well. Puts a couple of steps on. Easy over. No, great defensive effort. North Wide Bay, what about that one? He's a metre from the try line. They'll play it out the back. 
It, it was a terrible pass. Anyway, it's in the hands of Murray now. Murray puts the kick. It's going into the in goal area. No, just short, but he's going to be picked up, dragged away. And the referee said it's been grounded as the ball come out. Tom Murray tried to claim a try there, but the referee was quick to it and said, no, boys, that ball's been grounded. Yeah, good chase through there from uh, Isaiah Hewitt. Put the pressure on. I think they were a bit soft. They didn't think they were solid. And then he seen the heard the footsteps. Isaiah grabbed him and spun him over the line. So a drop out here from North Wide Bay. And they'll have to be careful and don't come this way with the breeze. And... Right, so it's dropped out. It's a tough kick and it's landed on the 40 metre line. So a semi rad dredger look alike here. And Nets Rarakolawa working the ball up for the Find Central Holland the side. The ref well, that's what he oh. said. Here we are. Ebsworth away. And it's just all too easy for Ray Ebsworth to score try two of this game. And they'll extend the lead. 42 points to six now. Kick to come. Ten minutes remaining in the game. Yeah, that was a bit easy down that right-hand side. They've been looking at it for a while, trying to get the timing right with Ray Ebsworth. And they finally get it. Hit the hole. Straight through and out the other side. Nice work by Central Highlands. They're really starting to kick away now, obviously. 42-6. we still got 10 minutes left in this game. Hello. The great thing is, though, Frank, this game's not over. The, sorry, the competition not over for North White Bay yet, though, as well, because they are playing for ranking, so they'll play the loser of the Rockhampton Gladstone game and then of course the winner of these two matches which will presume of course the Central Holmes with 10 to go the battle of the Dawson it will be the uh, well it'll be it's going to be a Central Queensland affair within the plate final because it's either going to it's going to be Central Holmes versus either Rockhampton or Gladstone so plenty of rivalry coming the Capras, up Capras representatives plenty area. enmity coming up mm. three areas that are happy to bind together and become one area, but when it comes to the footy field, absolutely hate each other. They do. But we don't want it any other way either. No, blood brotherly love. So, Ebsworth, to convert his own try and make it 44-6. So he lines up, two steps back. Kicks it, looking good. Flags go up, 44-6. Get in touch with us too anytime. Use the hashtag 47th Battalion. You can Complaints go to hashtag Cameron Stella. Apparently so. That's what. No, I'm told by your um, partner in crime and crawler, Dominic Draper. Or do we say hashtag Dom Draper? Oh, enough of the hash hashtag. Too many hashtags. I think that's what the call should be. Oh, as soon as we point the blame at you, that's how it goes, eh? Yep, that's how she works. So it's a close game over the back here. It's 12, 12 10 in the ladies' game. It's nine minutes to go. So the. Southwest Phillies have kicked back. So, restarting play. And oh, it's Doyle then. He'll give it to Hewitt. Hewitt got some speed. He is a quick man, but he'll be pulled to ground there for the uh, North Wide Bay side. They, the, the, the side, though, the, the Wide Bay side, they've got to be given 10 points for effort. They've certainly thrown everything, including that brand new kitchen stink yeah, well, installed last week. threw himself there straight across the tackle then. <laughs> but flying through, here we're going again. Ooh, another good shot. Namasi. He's held short of the 30. Kilpatrick having a bit of a look around. Links up with Owens again. Owens kicking early in the tackle count. Probably too short for the 40-20, and they'll let it roll dead, and they'll have a bit of a breather. The scoreboard says 44-6, and we've got seven and a half minutes remaining in the match. Yeah, it was an unusual sort of kick. What, kicked early in the set. Found the touchline, but... Not sure whether he was going for a 40-20, but if he was, he was going from a long way. A bit of an injury there to... Is that Mets coming off the field for...? Ah, uh, Namasi, it is. Namasi. Big game coming up for the Central Islands women's side, Frank. They've got to beat Bundaberg. Uh, sorry, uh -huh. got to beat Gladstone in order to make the grand final tomorrow yeah. afternoon. Had a good win this morning against the Bundaberg girls. We've seen them play against Gladstone just before. And, uh, Gladstone rolled them. So. Plenty of talent there. So they'll feed the scrum here, the North Wide Bay side, and they'll give it away. Oh, and it's good shot. Kuno. But Reese Giles. Reese Giles give him a nice shot. Not only scoring tries, but he's good in the defensive line as well. Another strong tackle, Clayton Kilpatrick, a man that I wouldn't run it. No, he's very good in defensively, the hooker. 
Robin Kilpatrick will be listening in, I reckon. Oh, we we're watching. Rob. We love Rob. She is our number one, number one ticket holder in the Central Highlands. And obviously, we should probably mention uh, Sarah Sarah Hicks, due to have a baby, secretary, treasurer, sorry. Treasurer, the Ice Heart Bulls. Bulls. Great to see. So. Hope she's enjoying the coverage. Wide Bay. Through the hand. This time it's in the Kimba. Kimba gets a lovely ball to Thorburn. I think he ankle tapped himself there. He's tripped over himself. So for the last tackle, let's see what they can throw up here and try and get a repeat set of six. And Alberts does just throw it up in the hope of doing something. And a oh. lovely ball. He put a shot on too. What a shot there from the North Wide Bay. I think Num it's cool again, isn't it? Yeah, I think it is. No, no, he's walking away. The man there, they're all quite happy with him. And it was Ede. I'm pretty sure yeah. it was Lee Eade. Lee Eade in the 14. It was a nothing sort of kick. I didn't know whether he kicked it straight into the breeze, but it sort of moped around in the air. Reese Giles had to get underneath it, and as he caught it, he just got car bombed. They unfortunately dropped the ball. That's what the wide, this is what the wide base side needed. They needed something, and they called to deliver. Five minutes 30 left on the clock. They'll get the scrum here right in the middle of the field. Chance for him to hopefully put some points on the board this second stanza. So here we are. Set to come this way. They feed the scrum Switch. short side. Into the hands now. Beck. Beck. Looking to try and punch through. And he's held 12 short. 15 short. I was being generous there. They'll work the short side. And it's Gilliland who's held. The tackler there is Giles. So again, short side play again. This time it's Ede. And Ede going for the try line. Two metres short. They'll take it back to the open side. The big fella Gilliland will have another run. He's tackled his centimetres from the line. And good cover tackle there. Giles again trying to make up for it. And they go themselves and oh, I think they the may be yeah, scoring the try. Wasn't quite sure if they were held up or not but the man with the headgear there, I think it's their lock forward, Luke Hedges scoring for the Northern Wide Bay Rangers. Even though I don't think it'll make too much of a difference in the game. 44 points to 10. Kick to come. Yeah, Ray Ebsworth put his hand up there. He fell for the big dummy at a dummy half and jumped early. And for the player sweeping around the back. And the dummy half just jumped over the try line fairly easy in the end. Nice work. Good to see White Bay still continuing to have a crack. Obviously out of this game and had a few points rattled up against him. Certainly did. So as we... Uh Get ourselves ready for the next game coming up on field one. As we said, Rockhampton versus Gladstone. Who's doing the call with you there? Well, Pete White is, but I don't think he's here, so... Really? He may have to reel in another man to do the call. Enough. That was a uh, hashtag went home Whitey. Yeah, that's the one. That was the one. We should text. Oh, right. he kicked it. Nice kick from out there. 46-12 uh, with three minutes to go in the clock. As the can pimmers around. But uh, it's a, certainly an, a lovely venue here, Bar Marie. It's been recently redone, Frank. Yeah, this is a new venue. It's only probably three years old, I think, we we'll talked about before, Draper. Um... The Yapoon Seagulls Juniors, they used to run out of the back of... Oh, knock on, unfortunately. It's not what they want. No. So, young uh, Daniel Alberts there, unfortunately, stuck his foot out to try and trap it and bounced up and hit his hand. Caused the knock on. Yeah, all sports arena, local um, local government, fed, state government have all chipped in here. Put the time in, it was great There's work. Not only just rugby league played here, we've got the touch fields up one side. and Yeah, net, netball courts up the back. So... It's a great venue for carnivals. And they've, uh, you've been a really late on the weather. It's a beautiful day down here. Picturesque. Bit of so a sea breeze in. Come down tomorrow afternoon if you're in for a good game of football. Or tomorrow morning, I should say. Tomorrow evening, you might miss it. Right, okay. CH on the attack. Here we are. Kilpatrick Kill into the hands. Oh, Parsons, Parsons going for the line. He breaks off one. Can he get the ball down? No, just short of the line. Oh, it's got to go right. Here we are. Kilpatrick probably wants one for himself. He'll get it to right, but they defence rush up. He's able to bounce off one door, puts a step in, tries to run straight through him, gets the offload away. Kilpatrick! And no, he's held short of the line. Some good goal on defence again. 
from the north side, north wide baseline. Here we are. Parsons acting half to Doyle. A long cutout ball to Stigler, and he can just jog it over and score to add the icing on top. The cherries on top of the beautifully baked cake that was pulled out of the oven. And they'll extend the lead. 48-12 now. Kick to come. 90 seconds remaining. I think that might be the score. Ray Absworth will use up nearly the most of this minute for the kick. Um, he's going to really struggle from out here. Kick it into this breeze. But we'll give him a shade. That was a great ball there by Doyle. Oh, like I said, there was gaps on the right there. Wide Bay was short the far side. He couldn't get there. The inside defence did well to rush up and shut it down. They came back towards the inside. Got to the post. Great ball to the winger, running down the touchline. Sebby Stegler. Oh, here we are. They've changed boots. Jared oh. Owens is taking the kick. Is Ray Ebsworth off the field? Is that what the drama is? Let me have a look down here. Yeah, there he is. He's, he's gone off for a rest, luckily for him. So, well, it doesn't really matter. It's not such a big kick for Jared Owens, but he might want to work on some kicking for... Uh, the Springshaw Mountain men, but looking ahead to the next game, Rocky v Gladstone Frank. Rob Crow is going to join us. So we've been able to, as the kick is uh, going to be waved away to the left hand side. But let's wrap this I, game up. I was up. just about to say that. I think Rob Robbie Crow's dancing down the sideline on the back field there. Yep. Well, he'll be making his way into the uh, commentary box in just a second. But let's ha wrap up this game with only 15 seconds to go on the clock. And it's been a good performance from CH, and they've booked themselves a plate final. That's it. That's what they wanted to do. They've done. Great game here. They've really upped the tempo, kept it going. They had a good game this morning against Bundaberg, but unfortunately went down. There we are on the last time. Kick, short kick off. Parsons under it. And they'll bounce it back. Owens juggles it. He'll go himself. He'll surrender in the tackle, and that's all she wrote in this game. Central Highlands run our victors 48 points to 12, and it was a good display of footy from Central Highlands.